quite checking out the Eagle Hotel in Dornoch, which is where we've been for the past um, three nights. Um, great golfers stay, by the way. And uh, we're on our way to a place called Bonner Bridge, which I believe is uh, about a 15, 20 minute drive away. It's only a nine old course, and uh, we'll see what this one has in store. Before we set off, I can't leave without a word for the town of Dornoch. In what was a brief stay, the charm of the town left its mark and I'm already counting down the days so I can return. Oh, and by the way, there's a golf course there that you may well have heard of. But for now, it's over to Bonner Bridge. Well, Peter Alice, uh, I read, described this as a mini Glen Eagles, and uh, I, I certainly get where he's coming from. We could have filmed on literally every hole um, and every position that I've played a golf shot from. It's so, so pretty. Right, so nine older and we're away at Bonner Bridge. Um, we shall see what lies in front of us. I've absolutely no idea what to expect of this place, to be honest with you. I just played the iron in and uh, this is the first glimpse of the, I was promised a lot of good views and a lot of good vantage points at Bonner Bridge and you don't get one off the first tee, but by the time you make your way to the first green, uh, that's a pretty impressive view. Uh, that's a lock, I don't know which one, um, but it's uh, pretty impressive and like I said, Hopefully a sign of things to come through this nine holes. All the good news to report is I'm on the green in regulation, so happy days. Our birdie on the second is always nice and uh, a little bit of a walk through a forest area now to find uh, tee number three. I've got a smile on my face, it's very, very pretty and uh, I'm playing millionaire's golf at the minute. Well, a third was uh, opens up into what is a stunning par three, uh, 170 downhill, or a backdrop that is. So pretty and here, and uh, right here, you can hear nothing but deathly silence. It's so peaceful. middle of the green sit that's good club I played seven iron from the elevator position um, and yeah bang on it's so nice here, you know honestly it is so nice you never know what to expect from a nine old golf course but we visited three now in this um, Scotland's less obvious not played all of them I visited Comrie and St Fillion's uh, back in the Perthshire videos and uh, they were so nice and again this is uh, yet another one uh, up here in the Highlands. Well, I just met Jeannie and Joyce who've uh, just played the par three really well. Was, I think so. Did you get pars there, was it? Yep. Very nice indeed. Uh, I've got a quick question for you. What is it that is so special about Bonner Bridge? We've only seen three holes, bear in mind, at the moment. I think the whole location and the course. It's a lovely, lovely wee course. Yeah, very pretty, and isn't it? People are yeah. the, the whole club is nice very friendly really friendly yeah i didn't start playing till three years before i retired and 
I started playing and everybody just took me everywhere and I yeah. soon, you know, soon, soon became part of the group. Yeah, yeah. Yes. but it is really beautiful. It is, really. we've seen that yeah, so we're far. Really lucky. Well, enjoy the rest yeah. of your round. Thank we're going to let you play through because nice you're, you're you. both very good golfers and whizzing <laughs> along <laughs> while we look for them in the trees. <laughs> Nice shot. Thank you. Go back. Oh yeah, that's a, they call him a members bounce, I think. <laughs> Very good. Enjoy the rest of your day. Fairly narrow, there's a lot of white stakes down that left hand side and a hole that makes its way from um, from right to left. Oh, solid hand, happy with that. Should just is that dead centre? Yeah. That's okay. We'll see what lies um, around the corner. Uh, to the left but again it's a stunning golf all the colors are uh, gorgeous uh, loads of purple heather you've got the, the burnt tops of the grass here and uh, plenty of green and plenty of trees and plenty of water it's pretty breathtaking stuff to be honest with you So I've strategically plotted my way around uh, this hole so far. This is stroking next one. We played three iron, six iron. We've still got 150 in. But so far I'm happy with what I've done. That's gone on the cautious side. Cut back a little bit more. Grab that green. Grab a little bit of it. Yeah, it's front edge. I was wary about going too far down the right, but we're... Uh, we're on the dance floor. I'm a long way from the flag. Um, maybe a bit too cautious, playing uphill. Maybe should, oh, hello. I don't think I was at address there. My ball's just moved back down the slope. One shot penalty. Right, so I've got a fair bit, fair bit in this still. Come round. Uh, that was good pace, it just, I thought there was more of a break in the first half of the putt. Didn't quite swing round as much as I anticipated. So one of them awkward little four footers for a par on stroke one. Yeah, happy. Very happy, great golf hole as well. seven is Tullock View. It says it plays 285. I was reaching for driver to be honest with you but um, at 285 I think we'll stick with the iron again. Stroke index three. Looks to be a camber maybe. Is it a bit, a bit off the left side of the fairway? Oh, 
you know what? I don't know whether it's these uh, serene conditions, but my swing seems, uh, I just feel like, like that. Do you know what I mean? Just toned down a little bit, totally relaxed and chilled. And uh, it seems to be helping me golf at the minute. Turn over, turn over. Oh, just about got there, happy with that. Our par three eighth, another so pretty little hole. And quite difficult, it's not my shot shape sticking the tree on that side, that was uh, about as close as I could get to comfortably anyway, without taking on that tree too much. Well, Peter Alice, uh, I read, described this as a mini Glen Eagles, and uh, I, I certainly get where he's coming from. It's, um, it's every tee, I, I, if I'm being honest with you, the first tee is the only one that's uh, well, it's the least inspiring. And then after that, it just the whole course opens up. And I, I could have literally, well, I might have done, I don't know. We, we could have filmed on literally every hole um, and every position that I've played a golf shot from. It's so, so pretty. A great place to wander around and play golf. I could literally wander around here all day long. Well, the camera was packed away, but I've asked it to be put on just for a second or two longer because the welcome we received at uh, Bonner Bridge was, it was unbelievable. And uh, they've just uh, put some soup and sandwiches on and drinks and what a real friendly bunch of people uh, they have been. Um, and I'd really encourage you to get out and support golf clubs, Bonner Bridge and others, because seriously, they're, they're, they literally are the foundations of, uh, of golf and uh, it's important that you get out and make an effort and come and play what is a great nine-hole course, it really is.